Now to another big story tonight, the death of Jesse Helms, the fiery former senator from North Carolina. He died today at the age of 86 after suffering from dementia in recent years. The White House released a statement saying America lost a great public servant and true patriot today. During his more than half century in politics, Jesse Helms led the charge for Southern conservatives and famously did not mind if he rubbed a lot of folks the wrong way. Bob Schieffer looks back. I want to go through here. Ooga, 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 the sound of a honking horn and an old tin Lizzie. Watching Jesse Helms move through a crowd reminded you of a tin Lizzie. Old fashioned, cranky, proud of it. He never tried to avoid the potholes of American politics. He just lurched through. You are a liar. You are a liar. Or somebody remove this jerk from this room. They called him Senator No after a lifetime of opposing racial quotas, abortion, so many UN programs, and gay rights. Reliable surveys, Mr. President, show that many homosexuals average 16 different sex partners every month. Son of a police chief, Helms grew up in Monroe, North Carolina, played the Tubin High School, later served on the Raleigh City Council. His hardline conservative views earned him election to the Senate five times. Voters knew what they got with Helms because he told them. There's going to be six more years of torment for Ted Kennedy and all those other His relations with the press were so prickly, he accused reporters of praying for his defeat. Now, if they had just supported prayer in school, they could have gotten through with that prayer. <laughs> and he sometimes clashed with colleagues, as when a group of congresswomen tried to crash one of his hearings. Mr. Chairman, we would like you to meet with us to talk about Out of order. You know you are out of order, and I would, I would not be discourteous to you where you work. Now, you please be a lady. Critics said he built his election campaigns around fear, as in this ad against opponent Harvey Gantt. You needed that job, and you were the best qualified, but they had to give it to a minority because of a racial quota. Late in life, he struck an unlikely friendship with the rock star Bono and joined Bono's fights against AIDS in Africa and third world debt. But on most issues, he never mellowed. I would like for him to say, well, he did the best he could. If they say that, uh, that'd be enough. And Jesse Helms took as much pride in what he was against as what he was for. Bob Schieffer, CBS News, Washington.